and life sucks you under, you can kick against the bottom, find the surface, and breathe again. One year and 13 days ago, I lost my husband, Dave. His death was sudden and unexpected. For many months afterwards, and at many times since, I was swallowed in the deep fog of grief, what I think of as the void, an emptiness that fills your heart and your lungs, constricts your ability to think or even to breathe. For so long, it felt like the overwhelming grief would never leave. I learned about the depths of sadness and the brutality of loss. But I also learned lessons about hope, about strength, and about the light within us that will not be extinguished. I learned that in the face of the void or in the face of any challenge, you can choose joy and meaning. There's loss of opportunity, the job that doesn't work out, the illness or crime which changes everything in an instant. There's loss of dignity, the sharp sting of prejudice when it happens. There's loss of love, the broken relationships that can't be repaired. And sometimes there's loss of life itself. The easy days ahead of you will be easy. It is the hard days, the days that challenge you to your very core that will determine who you are. The seeds of resilience are planted in the way we process the negative events of our lives. We should accept our feelings, but know that they won't last forever. I stand here today, a year after the very worst day of my life, the worst day I can imagine. And two things are true. I have a huge reservoir of sadness. It is with me always. It is right here where I can touch it. I never knew I could cry so often for so much. But for the first time, I'm grateful for each breath in and out. I'm grateful for the gift of life itself. Now I celebrate always. I used to go to bed every night worrying about all the things I did wrong that day. Now I go to bed trying to focus on that day's moments of joy. Finding gratitude and appreciation is key to resilience. People who take the time to list the things they're grateful for are healthier and happier. My New Year's resolution this year is to, before I go to bed, write down three moments of joy. And this really simple practice has changed my life because no matter what happens each day, I go to bed thinking of something cheerful. Try it deep within you is the ability to learn and grow. You are not born with a fixed amount of resilience. It's a muscle. You can build it up and then draw on it when you need it. And in that process, you figure out who you really are and you just might become the very best version of yourself.